for the work and the worth that they have brought to this noble institution. A principal in the Jamaican context carries a very heavy responsibility. Mr. H. F. Smith started the first leg of this race, a quintessential educator, a man who embodied the spirit of excellence throughout the course of his career. Mr. Smith has impacted so many lives through love and empathy, and he has left behind a blazing trail, a legacy never to be forgotten. Mr. Lloyd Maitland picked up the baton and he ensured that Christian values were an important part of the school's operation. And throughout his leadership, he was able to win the love and admiration of everyone who came in contact with him. Dr. Walton Small picked the baton after Mr. Maitland and he emerged at a time when the education system was plagued with indiscipline, academic decline, and moral decay. Under Dr. Small's able leadership, Anchovy High School managed to gain an enviable reputation for its improved level of discipline, excellence in academics, sports, and of course, agriculture. Later, Mr. Robinson, took the baton and Mr. Robinson the gentle giant created waves in diplomacy making strides for further levels of excellence his, in his work in advancing programs such as the associate degree and the sixth form program those are noteworthy these help to improve the image and the profile of the school significantly Altogether, these gentlemen impacted and made Region 4 a region of envy. It is important to note that while these gentlemen excelled in ex executing their duties, they had some extraordinary women who assisted in keeping their sails afloat. Mrs. Evelyn Tugwell, Mrs. Claudette Hudson, Mrs. Marjorie Blythe, and Miss Carmen Wind, oftentimes working in the shadows supported the various principles in ensuring that discipline and success became the mantra of the Anchovy High School. These ladies displayed strong interpersonal skills and helped to cement the cordial relationship among staff members. All these great men and women could not have done it without the strong support of the Board of Management at the time of their tenure. And so I want to also pause to acknowledge that we have had over the 50 years um, stellar board members who have helped to make Anchovy High School what it is today. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure in presenting to you the honorees who have distinguished themselves in the continuous journey of this or beloved school, Anchovy High School. And so at this time, I present to you the members of the honorary group, the honorary group, who will be, have their names cemented on the walls of the different blocks of our school. <laughs> 